Okay, so I'm going to redo what we did in class just to make sure that we've got it. But basically, the point of this problem is to, um, come on, hello, hello, is to graph um, this uh, function f of x equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 by completing the square. Completing the square. So um, remember when we complete the square, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set um, everything equal to y, equal to y, I like my awesome jamming music. So we've got y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. And now we want to get, get x's by themselves, themselves. So I'm going to get these x's here by themselves. So I'll subtract 5 from both sides. And that gets me y minus 5 equals 2x squared plus 8x. Now this doesn't always happen, but every once in a while we have this pesky coefficient in front of the x squared. So um, coefficient for x squared must be 1. So in order to get rid of that 2, we're going to divide everything on each side by 2. And since we are very responsible, um, what's it called, factoring, not dividing by random things for no reason, people, um, we're going to factor a 2 out of the front. That way, when we divide by 2, we know for sure we're doing the right thing when we cross those 2's out. So now we have y minus 5 over 2 equals x squared plus 4x. So we're all super duper happy. Um, now we're going to do the thing where we take this thing, divide by 2, and square it. And remember, that's just one of those arbitrary things we do um, that just always makes us get the answer that we want. So we have 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add this to both sides. We're going to add this to both sides. Okay. So uh, let's look at a new page here. And um, let's see, I had... What did I have? I had I had y minus 5 all over 2 equals x squared plus 4x. Is that right? y minus 5 equals x squared plus 4x. Yes. Okay, then I decided I was going to take that 4 thing and I'm going to add it to both sides. So plus 4, plus 4. Okay, so I have this really hideous... 5, 2, plus 4. And the whole reason I did this is to get this plus 4. And now I'm going to write this as a perfect square. And by perfect square, remember we mean that basically we're going to have like this thing in parentheses squared. And when on the inside of this we want this to say like x plus something. And whenever we square this out, we want it to be this x squared plus 4x plus 4. Ooh, why'd you do that? Um, so what number we want to put in here actually is going to be this same number here. Okay? So that 2 is going to go here. Now the reason for that is if we go over here and we multiply x plus 2 times x plus 2, we get first, outer, inner, last, squared plus 4x plus 4. That here is exactly this, okay? Which is why why we did this. The whole purpose of doing this is so we have this blah squared. Okay, now that we have our blah squared, what we want to do is now resolve for y. So all that stuff that we did to get the y's over all over here, now we're going to undo it and push all the y's back. So the first thing we're going to do now is subtract 4 from both sides. I'm getting kind of messy here. So I've got y minus 5 all over 2 equals x plus 2 quantity squared minus 4. Okay. So 
Next step is I need to get rid of this too. So I'm going just in backwards order from what we did before. Because last time I like added 4. Well, what did I do last time? I subtracted 5, divided by 2, and then added 4. So now I'm subtracting 4, multiplying by 2, and then I'll add 5. So I'm basically just doing the exact opposite that I just did. So um, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I need to be really, really careful to put in my parentheses um, so that I can distribute this 2 appropriately. Okay, so I'm multiplying the whole thing by 2. So I've got y minus 5 is equal to 2 times x plus 2 quantity squared minus 8. So where you're going to run into trouble probably is, if you get this far, is by forgetting to do this whole um, multiplying that 2 through there. But the good news is we're almost done. We just have to get rid of this pesky little minus 5. So we're going to add, that's not a 2, um, we're going to add 5 to both sides. And that's going to wind us up here with y equals 2 times x plus 2 quantity squared minus 3. Now, see, don't you feel like infinitely cool and fantastically mathematical? And now what's even more incredible is we get to go take this and graph it using stretch shift flip stuff. So we'll do that in the next one.